is a 74 drop top Caprice. Loaded up with options. We actually got this from the first owner. All right. So we have our original engine bay. This has not been beautified as you could tell, but it is very factory and it is working beautifully. So this engine's just been regasketed. This is the original engine, which is 96,000 miles on it. This is a 350 V8. It's got a four barrel on top. You see it has a factory AC, power brakes, and power steering. This puppy is pretty well loaded up. Everything you see in here, all these fasteners, the hardware, the paint. This is original stuff here. This is pretty damn impressive. And you see little chalk markings all around this car. Original sticker still hanging in there. Shows a, a little bit of her authentic age, but it is very, very clean and free of anything nasty. It closes up good. Original bumpers look very sharp, as is the grill and the rest of the bright work on this car. I like the bumper guards, everything fits very nice. Gaps in the hood, the bumper, fenders, these fender extensions, everything looks really sharp. This is a deep forest green. Notice the backdrop. We had to bring it out to the woods for you just to look that cool. Now we've referenced the original dealer invoice. This car was ordered with the white wall tires and we made sure we put them back on there. That is a brand new set. It's a 15 inch wheel with a nice polished hubcap. Notice there's no corrosion on those. Even down the side of this car, it's very straight, the gaps are nice. All of the original trim is there. I dig this Caprice Classic badge. You can see we do have a spot or two of touch-up paint on here. I really dig the rear ends on these. These tail lights are very slick, the bumpers look good. And I dig the way the plate almost looks recessed in there. And there is your fuel fill. Look at that. Very good sized trunk. You see this is a boot for when the top is down to seal that up well nicely. Uh, original trunk mat, full size spare with the jack, lug wrench. Even notice the factory warning stickers are pretty cool. And this one does have a rear defogger, a rear defroster, pretty cool. Uh, even the original stickers still hang on with their courtesy lamp working wonderfully. Underside of this is slick and smooth. This car is very well taken care of. taking you down the passenger side of the car. Something I haven't pointed out yet. These are nice little removable skirts. So you can take those off, fit a bigger wheel if you had to. But looks very good, I'm glad they're still there. Passenger door gaps, very nice, front to back. This is a tricky area on these cars. This fits very nice. Even from the factory, they, they offered a few different hood hinge part numbers, depending on how things fit that day of the week. They assembled the front end of these cars at a whole different factory or a whole different assembly line than they did the rest of the car. Aside from that, I see a little blemish here on our original headlight bucket. We'll get this thing opened up and show you how all this glass goes down. This is all original PPG glass. Very smooth. Just like that. You see we have the rear bonnet on here now. Looks good, closes that out. And we'll come and give you guys the rest of the tour of the interior. So I mentioned before, this does have a power bench, which is really a trick. We've got a couple of seat belts on the lap here. Over on my door card, this is all original stuff. I like the wood grain in here. Our auxiliary mirror is working. In the center, we have the original steering wheel. And this is crack free, which blew my mind. And again, a little bit of Aztec pattern and some wood grain. Chevy's at it again. Down here, we've got 96,000 miles on the clock. Um, a fuel gauge, a speedo going up to 120, and a clock over in the corner. Just down below, we have our light pole, heater, and AC controls. And over here, we have our radio. This is an AM and FM unit. And on top, we just have our, our cigarette lighter right here and our top controls in our defroster, or defogger, I'm sorry. Then over here we have our ashtray, our glove box, and there'll be close-ups of this in the photo gallery. This has all the original literature with the car, which is very sweet. Um, dash pad, 
it is surviving. You notice we have a couple of cracks down the middle. Um, we do have speakers and defrost. Those are all functional, working good. Um, a heater vent's coming out of the center of the dash and as well as at our feet for heat or AC, whichever you prefer. Show you the rear bench, um, all in great shape. It's just a minor bit of wear. Most of what you see in here, I think, is just due from the, the UV rays getting at the coloring in here. But our original door cards are not beat up at all. The filler panels for these convertible models, it's a hard to find piece and it is not damaged at all. Um, we do have seat belts in the rear here. They're just tucked down in a little bit. Um, cushion is still very plush. Carpet looks great. The backs of these seats, these are in great shape too. Doesn't look like anyone was kicking them up or beating them up too bad. This thing has been a sweetheart. You sit so big and comfortable in here. Um, you almost need some curb feelers on it, it's that large. But the cushions in the seats, the plushness in the carpet, the smell coming out of these vents. It's all very nice. Um, this is the kind of car that could brighten up your day when you step into your garage. Not, not many can do that. This one definitely does it for me. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous car, and I guarantee you, when you pull up at your cruising nights, no one else is gonna have one. Um, I touched on it earlier, this is very rare, and if you like the color, I and mean, you're hard pressed to find one. I have broken record. This took two years to, to track this baby down. This thing is for sale. We can always find the price right in the description of this video. And also while you're down there looking, that has the link to our website. If you want to see a hundred plus pictures, if you want to see the underside of it. If you want to see a close up of the original dealer invoice, so they paid a 13.9 APR on it back in 74. You can see that there. Hell, we got the stampings, the list goes on. She's gorgeous. I know I look for it for a long time. We've had it for a few years. It's ready for a new home. Call us up if you want to know more. The number, the email is all down there.